Masters. 15 to 3 after five innings of play. The Pay Masters scored three runs on their first at bat and then poured on 10 more in the third inning to give starting pitcher Wagner Easel a comfortable lead. Easel earned the win on the mound going four innings and giving up three runs off four hits. Mariano Moses went two for three at the plate with a double, an RBI, and three runs scored. Alex Peterson went one for one with a double, an RBI, with four runs scored. Jonah Joel went one for two with an RBI, three runs scored for Ponape. For the Jonia Club, Rick Tatautau finished two for two with two doubles and a run scored. In other games, the ACI Masters defeated the Coast Ride Masters 18 to six behind winning pitcher Dave Cruz, while the MTM Falcons got the win over the Pack Sports Giants 10 to seven. Glenn Palomo got the win on the mound for the Falcons, giving up two runs off three hits. The Circle K Island Stunners remain undefeated in the Guam Women's Tackle Football League. Eight aside action. The Stunners improved to 3 0 after handing the Lady Spartans the 48 24 loss at Eagles Field. Lorena Guerrero provided the spark on offense, rushing for 122 yards, while teammate Sarah Flores anchored the defense, picking up 15 tackles. The defending six aside champions jumped out to a 24 0 lead in the first quarter and added another 24 points in the second half to earn the win. For the Spartans, Krista Morris racked up 142 yards rushing to go along with an interception and six tackles on defense. In the later game, it was the Steel Blazers picking up the win over Team Legacy 28-22. Let's check out some youth basketball from the Astumbo Gym between the Warriors and Knights in the 12 and under division. Knights player number 14, Dylan with the short range jumper from the baseline. Big man Javen Santos working inside the paint, comes up with the rebound and put back for a Warriors score. The game wasn't about winning or losing, it was about having fun. And Knights player Dylan had a lot of that going through the lane and draining the floater here for the last score. Now for some championship basketball highlights from the Guam Construction Basketball League. MTGI Tumon Corp up against Inland Builders over at the Jigo Gym. Number six, Garcia with the pull-up jumper for Inland Builders. MTGI's Carlos answers back the other way with the shot just inside the three-point line for the long two. Inland Builders, Cahigas with a nice move to create separation from the defender. Hits the shot at the top of the key. MTGI Tumon Corp went on to take the title. 79-55, Corey Borja was named 2012 GCBL MVP. Father's Day produced two first-time winners as Dante Godoy and Nick Gutierrez prevailed as the top seeds in their respective divisions to claim the June championship of the Budweiser King and Prince of the Lanes. Godoy topped the qualifying round averaging 224 pins per game with a 1,348 six-game series. In the Prince of the Lanes finals, Nick Gutierrez used a portion of his 27-pin handicap to claim the title with a 184 over third seed Steve Esplana. Esplana led from the start, however, a 5-10 split leave in the final stanza, coupled by a spare by Gutierrez, cost him the monthly title. Make sure to register for I-94's Dig and Dodge event on Sunday, June 24th at the Beach Bar. It will be the dodgeball event of the summer. Co-ed teams of five with two alternates will go head-to-head -head -head and the winner takes home cold hard cash. Get your most creative team uniforms ready and get ready to start dodging. $70 per team in advance. Game day registration is $100 to register or for official rules and regulations call Betty Ann Guerrero at 635-5836 be the last team standing this summer at the official Dig and Dodge